Hello, my name is Emma Hadley. And I'm Kelly Wong. Thanks to the Wong Shan Group, we were two of the 32 students from Delaware Public Schools that were able to participate in a four-week trip in China to grasp a better understanding about STEM, Chinese culture, and become more fluent in Chinese. During our study abroad experience, we were able to be immersed in Chinese culture 24-7 by visiting ornate temples, ancient monuments, gorgeous government buildings, vast views of mountains, westernized cities filled with skyscrapers and millions of people, and learn firsthand everything about this beautiful country. We were able to visit a Chinese family for a day and had to learn the ins and outs of the traditional Chinese home. Once the guest arrives at the host's house, they should be greeted at the doorstep or perhaps even farther out. Once entering the house, it is polite for the guest to take off their shoes and, if offered, put on slippers given by the host. This shows respect for the host and the house. The guests should not invite themselves to be seated as this is considered rude and should only sit down once the host invites them to. Afterwards, the guest is typically invited to have tea or some other form of bread, beverage or drink. Oftentimes, the host will have snacks set out on a table where the guest will be sitting. The host must make the guest feel as comfortable as possible and must keep them entertained whenever they can. Hosts must always show humility in everything they do with the guest and must always keep their guest entertained and feeling comfortable. Any form of uncomfort with the guest should not be done. If a host fails to keep their guest entertained, this will result in a loss of face or reputation and is considered intolerable. A host should sacrifice what they can to keep the guest as comfortable as possible. For example, giving up their own bed should the guest be staying overnight. A host should always keep the guest feeling welcomed from the moment they step into the home of their host to the moment they are out of sight. Whenever in a Chinese household, make sure to not drink the tea too quickly, or else the host will keep forcing the tea on you. Whenever you are served something, express your gratefulness to the host for their generosity. All dishes aside from soup should be eaten with chopsticks. Licking or playing with your chopsticks is not permitted at all. Never stick your chopsticks in the middle of the rice. This is a sign of disrespect. Everything you pick up on your plate, you must eat. If you don't, that appears to the host as you are rude and you don't like the food. The host might put food on your plate, but in Chinese culture, that is not rude at all. Just eat the food on your plate. After the meal, the host will usually offer you some fruit, such as watermelon, oranges, or even grapes. Before you leave the house, make sure you take off the slippers, leave them where you found them, and put back on your shoes. While doing so, you can express your gratitude towards the host and say how great the dinner was. The host may follow you out the door to make sure that you're safe and back in your car, which isn't weird in Chinese culture. One of the highlights from the trip was to visit the family. Although they tried their best to fit in with Western culture, it was evident that they were truly a Chinese family that stuck to some of the thousand-year-old traditions from their forefathers. We enjoyed this trip and grew a larger understanding of the world around us and how we are all different. China is a gorgeous country. It is filled with people with good hearts, green mountains, riches in art, food, dancing, language, and much more. Thank you again, Wang Shang, for sponsoring this trip.